Hello, dear viewers! Welcome to part 96 of Madness Project Nexus Arena Mode. I guess it's about that time we finish up our zombie imprint, eh? Not much is different from last time. I got some extra armor on. As you can see, I have a cape and a headband. It'll increase my attack speed and some armor. And I, and I got a face mask thing. That's about it. And I upgraded to punkers because we need them against the robots. We're only doing the Mandatus. We'll be doing it twice. I'll tell you why later. But for now, just know that the heist is kind of boring as a zombie because the zombie people... The zombie minions you make in the heist die so quickly there's really no point to making them, so you can't have an army like I wanted. And that's kind of why we're just going to do the Mandatus. Because at least something interesting is happening here. Because we're fighting the robots. And you want to know if a zombie can beat robots. You also want to know if a zombie can grab onto robots. You know, I'm going to take this time now at the beginning of the video while there's literally nothing happening. To tell you how much I like the game Teardown. And I'm enjoying my playthrough of that. So if you enjoy me, you can. I really think you should check that game out. My playthrough of it specifically? Give me views. Teardown is a puzzle game where the solution to the puzzle is usually destruction. I couldn't ask for a better game. You know what? Here, I'll show you this, too. Turn off fog. I don't think it has that much of an effect. I think the fog already spawned in. Oh, hi, hello. Now look, you just attack these guys like normal. You you are essentially a minimum wage employee and you just have to take the abuse while kind of hoping that they fall over and yield to you when you hit them. But hey, as a zombie, you can grab the robots when, when the game lets you. You do this animation and then they throw you onto the ground. But that's because we're small. Now, the reason I said that we were going to do this twice is once I'm going to do it as small zombie, and then another time I'm going to be big zombie. Because if you remember, I have the, what, the, the hungry skill? I think the, it's called hungry, where I get bigger every time I buy a core skill. So we're gonna do that. But th this is it. This is what it looks like. Now, you might be wondering what the giant- what happens with the giant robot. You can't grab the giant robots. The game just doesn't let you. There's no, like, animation or anything. And in fact, the giant robots are the bane of zombies' existence because it just ragdolls them. Any zombie just gets ragdolled, so it's like, why? I'm gonna throw these things at people. Wait, wait, can I do this? Hold on. Yes. Yep. There we go. And now... There are two of them! You know what? I'm gonna leave this bot SMG with you, and you can figure out which of you is the real one, because that's the one who's gonna get the SMG and be the last one standing. Here is without the fog. It looks kind of broken, actually. Which, if the fog is disabled, then what is this stuff? What is this red stuff? Now look, no one can get me. I'm safe over here on this platform. This one isn't real. Oops. This one is real. That one isn't real. And this float, small floating one right here that goes up and down is actually real. See? You go up and down on it. But I didn't mean to take that health damage. So look, I'm just gonna slowly piddle away at all these guys until a big guy shows up. I'm gonna use the grenade there. Oh, a Roomba. No. That Roomba's losing its mind. Uh. It's try- it's trying! There it is. There you go. Which would- you know, Roombas would probably be a very- these Roomba things would be very effective against zombies. Because it's just- it's a saw blade that goes forward and mulches things. Look, another big boy. There it is. I had temporary invulnerability because I took health damage. 
Luckily, we get a full heal once we get back to the actual true boss. Well, I guess he's the true boss. At this point, it's kind of like a checkpoint boss. You know, the giant robot we fight? The giant clockwork guy? Thanks. We just kind of fight him every Tuesday. Yep, here it is. Yep, I don't get up fast enough to get out of the way. The only way to get out of there is by dodging with our crappy zombie dodge. What I am going to say is I love the augment that makes me regenerate 200% faster. Because look at how fast that corpus up there starts recharging. Thank God. We're taking his limb. We're going to store it for later, make soup out of it. And we're going to take his friends. Wait, can we dual wield these? Well, of course we can't dual wield them. We don't have any melee skills. Because we're a zombie. I'm covered in freaking car parts now. Wow. Doesn't that seem familiar? Oh man, I just repaired my grenier. Ha, chump. Look at you. You walk with feet? I don't do that. I walk with shoes. Haha. -ha. Oh god. Almost got him. It was an overhead strike, too. I want him to be dead. So you can't grab him. I'm a minimum wage employee. I just kind of have to sit here and take this. He didn't knock me over. That was his mistake. I need to kill the Roomba, though. It's the only thing that doesn't feel pain. Your character is essentially a Monster Hunter character when he gets knocked down. He's just gonna lay on the ground for the foreseeable future, and then get up right as the enemy attacks him again. I don't know, am I the only one who feels that way about Monster Hunter? It's like, oh no, I've been knocked over. Well, let me take my sweet old time getting up. Or, oh no, I need to drink a potion. Let me just spend two years doing that, making sure I also, like, close the cap, wipe my mouth off. You know, we don't want to get the environment dirty. Anyway, let's go kill literally everything in the ecosystem. For, like, its head, so you can make, like, a piece of armor you're gonna wear for... I don't know... A couple days, and then get a new one. How fun is this? Yep, totally fun. Definitely fun to watch. That was a well-placed grenade. And now I get attacked by the Roombas. It's, it's just three of them, turn, it's like, turning into a blender. It's a mobile blender. What the hell was that? Did one of these guys just deflect a bullet from their friend? Like, for real? Wow, look, another big robot. At least there's only one. Look, a heavy bot rifle. Oh, I killed that man. That robot man. Thank you for not knocking me over. However, I still do not like your existence. See, you just blocked that too. But I'm gonna throw all these at your friend. Yeah, I was just making sure I had scrap on me. Sounds kind of like a Goron from Zelda. Oh. Right? Specifically Ocarina of Time, because that's like the only Zelda game I ever played. And someone actually had to kind of beat it for me. I don't remember what they did. All I remember is, I don't think I ever beat the... No, no. I did the water thing. I never figured out how to turn into Adult Link because I'm stupid. So what ended up happening is I went over someone else's, like, house or whatever and showed them, like, Yeah, look at all this stuff I have in Zelda! I think I beat the game, there's nothing else for me. And then, well, they went, here, you go here. And then they did, like, the whole side quest to get the big sword. What else did they do? They got, like, everything for me, and I'm just like, wow, at the end of the game. Like, I don't know how to do half of the stuff in this game. It was crazy. It was literally one of those moments where you went over to your friend's house and your older- their older brother was like, Oh yeah, here, I got it for you." Oh, thank god. Okay. 
I didn't think they had that little health left, but here we go. Hello, sir. You know what? I don't like your attitude. Get out of here. Can I kick you out of here? Yep. And this is what it looks like without fog. Like a <laughs> Windows screensaver from 2001. Hello, friend. I've been eaten! Whack. Ow. Now this fight gets progressively worse the longer it goes on. See, as a zombie, I don't have much in the way of being able to dodge this. So all I can do is kind of stand here like a damn tick. And just slowly hope my attacks hit. This is it. Thrilling gameplay. I mean, I could stand in front of it. There we go. Now the best strategy I've seen, well, that I've come up with while playing as a zombie here, I don't know why any of you would do this. I, I already did it. You guys can see for yourself. But like, yeah, you, you can play the game as a zombie. I guess. I mean, it's, it's bootleg as hell. But the best strategy I came up with is you just trigger the boss, like, the boss changes its state whenever you take damage from its attack. So it'll, like, turn into a blender or the fire a laser or whatever. The moment you take damage from that, it stops doing that. So it's a lot easier to just run directly into it. Which will mean that your corpus starts regenerating sooner. Because you took damage earlier. I really really wish that I could kick these robots off the edge. That's, that's the only reason I'm doing that. That fire is also a very beneficial thing to us because it drastically increases our... Shut up. Increases our damage output. Ow. How dare you. I cannot believe you've done this. Yeah, it, it takes a bit. Bear with me. There we go, another corpus down. See? Walk right into it, the attack stops immediately. Which gives you free reign over the arena. We still have five grenades, but I'm gonna use those in an emergency. The emergency being when I run out of fruit loops. Okay? When I'm out of fruit loops, that's when the grenades come out. I buy a lot of fruit loops. The marshmallow fruit loops specifically, not just any. The backup cereal that I have is Captain Crunch with the berries in it. Here it is. We'll just slowly get up here. We may get hurt just a little bit from the fire. It's fine. Now that giant robot should be kind of, yep, ready to pop. We just gotta get rid of his little blender friend, little Roomba. Okay, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, if they were to make a zombie origin, like an official zombie origin, I'm sure they would refine it. So, like, you couldn't get any other skills, like melee and range, you just couldn't get. You probably acrobatic skills wouldn't apply to you. Something like that. I don't know if that can deal damage to the giant robot here. Like the Grand Steward. If this is the steward, this isn't, like, the actual guy in charge, you know? You gotta wonder, are there more of these? The question is, every time we come here, on every imprint, is this just the same one? Or is it a new one every time? The world may never know. There we go. Look, I did it. Look, he's gonna activate blender mode. There we go. I don't know what the hell happened there, but I became immune to it. 
I got all of the unarmed skills simply so I could increase my encumbrance, which is nice. But, like, I can't use any of those skills. Like, I could full on counter stuff. Well, I, I can't counter that. I can't counter the backhand, the big backhand. Look at that. He's just walking over me. And there's not much I can do because I have to wait for my character to want to get up. These guys just get to shoot me. Until their friend fires its artillery. In which case, look out below! I'm so glad that was an overhead swing. But what could they do to make a zombie origin fun? Maybe make it so you have a higher chance to cause people to go into the finisher state? Hello. It does not look like that deals damage to him. But hey, look, I can, I can whack him a little bit. This is the first phase. This is the easy phase. It gets a lot more tedious in phase two. There we go. Ow, what is your problem with knocking me over? Oh, thanks for the scrap, I guess. So now we are in phase two. Because we got him down to the last three health, he doesn't stay open until we damage him anymore. Meaning we get like two hits in before he goes into like his closed clamshell mode. And he's like, oh no, Grant Stewart used protect. And then we get to wait until all of his friends are dead. It is such a tedious process. Now its face is open. We can get slapped by it, I guess. Get some, get some little ticks in here. And then it fires its fire, which was very beneficial. I don't know how that didn't hit me. And then its face is closed. Now you can get another hit in here if you're fast enough. See, before it closes its face, you can get some hits in. And now you rinse and repeat. Kill all the robots, wait for him to open his face, kind of pick at the plaque between his teeth, wait for it to close, over and over again. There we go, another corpus down. It's gonna activate blender mode. There I go. Oh, did I mention that he gets faster the less health he has? Oh, wow, I got him that time. I didn't think I would. But he shot me all the way over here, so I don't get to capitalize on the fact that he's doing his spin. Spin! So close. You and your stupid robot workers. Get out of here. Where is this? An Amazon factory? An Amazon warehouse? No, this is a this is a factory. Things get made here. Besides the suffering of the employees. Another question I have now that I think about it. What the hell are we gonna do for the next three parts? This is part 96. I have something I want to do. Now let me phrase that. Part 100 is taken. I, I'm already gonna do something special for part 100. So what are we gonna do in the meantime? Like what are we gonna do for part 97, 98, and 99? I'm leaving that up to you guys in the comments, just so you know. Come on! He probably has, like, two more hits in him. Oh. Uh, I guess that's fair. Can we do it? Is this the final hit? Come on. I just need to kill him. Come on. There it is! Oh, I finally did it. Oh, there's nothing left of me. I'm gonna waddle over here. Oh. Oh, that was so annoying. Oh. I'll take a look at what's left of the zombie. Oh my god. Don't need that. You can see the rib cage. Like, look at this. There's no helmet left. The cape has more or less been melted off. You see through to the point where I think that's the back of the body. 
that you're looking at there. <laughs> there is no skull. That's gone. All the head armor is gone. The chest piece, like the bottom of it is still there. Well, the rest of it, no. The shoulder pads are like wire frames. Good thing the hands are still there. So we finally did it. Arena victory. Look at how long that took. Hmm, now we could... Look, I'm back to my undead self. But we're not gonna do it just yet. See, we're gonna... What we're gonna do is we're gonna bulk up. So here's the big zombie boy. Get ready. Are you ready? I don't think you are. The, the enemies actually are. I don't deal that much more damage. My strength has gone up by 50%. 50%. And I'm doing slightly more damage than I was. There we go. And guess what? Just like the vampires, they die. That's it. That's the only real difference. I mean, our foot is... Uh, I want to see if the big robots are any different. Like, can they still knock me over as easily? Can I grab them? Let's find out. Well, I can't grab them. That's for sure. Are you still knock me over? Yep. They do not care about my stature. I might be massive, but I'm still a pushover to them. Well, that was a bust. I was really hoping there'd be like, I don't know, anything different with those robots as a giant zombie, but I guess not. So I can bully people in the street, though. This is my sidewalk. Go to another dimension. The question I ask as I stand here bullying civilians is what does it look like when I grab a small dude now? Do I still infect them? Or do I turn them into paste? And that, my friends, is why we're here at slaughter time. Let's find out. Oh, my God. I just immediately go into a finisher, huh? I don't even turn people into zombies anymore. All right. Goodbye, gnome. I hardly knew you. Get the hell off my stage. I'm the star here but I'm gonna send you into the stars. Though I have another question. What about those big guys? Can I grab them now? You know, I said before we weren't doing the heist, but this may just be the best testing ground for what I wanna do. Ha 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 Yes! Yes! Rise! Oh, yes. Okay, so I've come up with an idea for part 97, 98, 99. What if we absolutely ruin the levels of this game? I'm talking like I start spawning in units on any of the levels. You guys in the comments can tell me what units you want to see on what level, and we're just going to see them duke it out. It'll be like the sandbox, except with actual objectives and stuff for them enemies that we spawn to do so tell me what kind of fights you want to see in what maps you can see that these guys are actually kind of effective at taking out the zombies all their m1 grands have bayonets on them so they got the melee damage and the zombies aren't even bothering to convert people zombies are so not a threat in this game like any level where the zombies are they're just they just get bullied I may have broken the game. Oh, it crashed. Something tells me that this is not how the mission is supposed to go. I mean, I'm glad to see that the Nexus Corps can make absolute short work of the police officers. 
Well, Hank is here now. First thing Hank does is grab a riot shield and start smacking the police. Him and Loki get along swimmingly. Man, the streets of Nevada have really been let go. Like, there's all sorts of weird rabbit animals walking around. Crinkles is here. Kind of upset someone's messing up his game, but eh. He doesn't care all that much. All right, all right, the insanity's over. Back to our regularly scheduled ending sequence, right? But we've done it, guys. We've completed our zombie playthrough. So now I guess we're back to the question, what do we do for the next few episodes, right? Until we get to the big 100, what should we do to fill the time? I think we could have some fun spawning in armies of units to fight levels for us. I think that might be interesting. Or do any of you viewers have better ideas for what we could do for three episodes? Because that's all we have. So that's on you guys for next time. But right now, we're going to wrap up episode 96. So thanks a lot for watching. I really do mean that. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and take care. I'll catch you next time.